Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a great tool for article spinning named Spin and Review. Before we begin, let's talk about article spinning in case you're not familiar with this concept. Content owners publish their articles with backlinks to their main sites. It's one of the most popular and effective ways to gain site ranking, authority, and organic traffic. If you have a quality article and you've published it on a known and trusted source such as Medium, BuzzFeed, or Quora with backlinks to your website, you should expect your site's ranking to increase. However, if you plan to publish your article in various places, you can't just publish it as is because Google and other search engines will penalize you for content duplication. Instead, you have to spin the content in such a way that the article will keep its original content but differ enough to avoid any penalty associated with duplication. This is exactly why you need a tool such as Spin and Review, the tool I'm going to show you today. This tool allows you to not only review your spinned article and change it on the fly, but also observe the ongoing similarity between original and modified content. Here we see the main screen for spinandreview.com. On the left side, we see the original text, and on the right side, we see the spinned text. The blue button is the spin it button. I'll show you in a minute how to use this tool. The similarity gauge shows you the up-to-date similarity between the input and output versions. This is a great way to keep track of how effectively the original text is being modified. In other words, how well you are spinning the original article and maintaining the right amount of similarity. Let's do a sample spinning example. You can type or paste any text you like or use one of the four samples provided for you. I'm going to pick sample 2. Now I'll arrange the numbers in the CAPTCHA section. Once I've done that, I can click Spin It. I can see the similarity right now is 74%, which is defined as fair. Good similarity is between 40 and 60%. This isn't an exact science, but of course less similarity is better, as it makes it harder for search engines to detect duplication. Let's take another shot and try another version. I'll click Spin It again. And now I see that the similarity is 72%, which is better than the first version. I could keep going until I'm satisfied with the result. With the paid version of Spin and Review, you get more than 50 different versions you can use. But please note that with the free version, there is a five version limitation. Now let's try to make the overall similarity a little bit lower so that our article would not be detected as content duplication. Notice how every word in the spinned section has a review menu which opens up when I right click. For example, I'm going to right click over the word thought and hover over the suggest option. As you can see, the Suggest option offers up equivalent words that I can use to replace the word I've right-clicked on. I can also use Change, Concat, or Delete. Here I'll use the Change option and change Thought to Was Thinking. I'll press Enter to apply the change. You can see that the text was changed accordingly and the similarity has dropped to 68%. We're on the right track, so let's proceed. Next, I'll right-click on Singer and use the Suggest option to pick Vocalist. Now we're at 64% similarity. For a bit more difference, let's change the word Stop to something else. And the word But to However. We are now at 57%, which is within the good zone, according to the similarity meter. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use Spin and Review. First, you spin the original content using the Spin It button. 
Once you see something you want to start working with, you then use the right-click options to change individual words. Once you're satisfied with the level of similarity and the output text, you're all done. You can take the spinned version of the text and publish it wherever you want, and Google and other search engines will not recognize it as duplicate text. If you have any questions or need further clarification, you can contact Spin and Review by email at support at spinandreview.com. Also, please email support at spinandreview.com if you want to acquire the paid commercial version of Spin and Review without any restrictions on word count or the number of spinned versions. You should note that there is not a mobile or tablet version of Spin and Review available because hovering over the words to display the review menus would be impossible on those types of devices. Thank you for watching this Spin and Review tutorial. I hope you like it. Take care. Bye-bye.